I was doing almost the same effects, spending hours behind making mask contents. Then I used Chaser once. Now I cannot unchaser myself. It's so addictive in a great way. These crazy chases and strobe chase is totally real time, filling the music. This is a quick introduction to Chaser by Hybit Constructs. I am glad they offered 15% discount for first 15 of you by using Zunaid Z U N A Y E D as a promo code or click the link given in the description below. Hi, my name is Zunaid Sabir Ahmed and big thanks to Joris and Hybit Constructs for sending me the license of Chaser to try this out. So here it is. If you run Chaser for the first time, it will open the last working project or it's gonna pull data from the open project in our case we have our very favorite DJ set we are using from the very first of our channel. You love it, I love it, and everyone love it. So let me just demonstrate what's going on here. We have our left center, we have a right and a boot. Let's just play the mask file to see what happens. Ideally, we should run Resolume first, then run Chaser, and keep Chaser running in the background to make it working properly. Don't worry, just leave it in the background, maybe minimize once you are done with Chaser. Let's open advanced output and let's make sure our layers are properly named. Naming the slices properly will help our case pretty soon. Let's save and close. So let's run Chaser. Ideally it should open. If something else opens up, no worry, hit file new. Your current open resolume projects advanced output info as in the advanced output info from here it's gonna show up in this part. These are gonna be the folders and here are the slices. On the left side, we're gonna see the zoom percentage here. And this one gives you a hand to drag the scene and move around like this. And this one is the grid setting, we will get to that later. On the bottom left, we have previous sequence, play, pause, current sequence, and next sequence. This bottom area is our steps, we will get to learn them to use pretty soon. We can add remove steps from here or just type in number or steps you want. Like I want 26 steps. Ta-da! There you go. So one very essential tip, you can use your keyboard left and right to go next or previous step while working. This will help you save hours. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Now that we are done with our very essential yet very boring yet very essential part, let's dive in. Before that, Hit a like, maybe subscribe as well, and then let's dive into action. Let's make our first chase 16 steps long. We will click and select the first step and select the first slice we would like to see in this step. In our case, this one. And select the first slice we would like to see in our first step. We will hit keyboard right to step to next step and then do our next slice. Let's keep going, maybe let's make a clockwise thingy. So we already have one, two, three, four. So, and then maybe we go, I don't know, maybe backwards. Okay, and then maybe again we go. Okay, so what's what's going on? Let's see. So we have some chaser done. Let's select the first step and select the slice, the one we want to see on this step. Let's hit keyboard right to move to next step and select the next one let's hit right and select the next one so for this one we are making a counter oh no we are making a clockwise spin not counter yet let's see what we have done here so let's hit next sequence and make another sequence this one we're gonna make eight steps uh, for the first step we're gonna do this one but for the second step we keep it blank for the third step we hit something for the fourth we keep blank for the fifth uh, we hit something for the sixth nothing and you know what's gonna happen next to so what's going on here so this is a pew 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 that's okay we just made two presets right now as we spoke let's rename the sequences it will help to not get lost in arena trust me on this so I'm comfortable with putting numbers first. So for my case, this is going to be 0, 1, uh, clockwise. And the next one would be 0, 2, clockwise, bang. Because this 
sort of bangs in between. Let's quickly make two more variants for this basic chaser video. This one I might be needing eight steps. First one like two, 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 two. Then go maybe we go like ta, 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 ta. So what's happening is this is some okay this is some okay thing let's call it zero three okay chase and for the next one maybe mm, i don't know next one maybe eight steps off eight steps off so let's see what happened yeah this is not bad if you use it right it's not bad chase so let's call this one zero four not bad chase we're gonna use these names pretty soon so we're gonna mess with the clip this time let's drop chaser into this clip let's see what's happening here so let's check chaser in action so you know what is blending mode and opacity if you don't only way to noodle is right now right here let's check out the scaling settings here here the mask is gonna clip across the composition using the input mapping. The fill is gonna stretch it and fill up the input slices with this. These two are helpful, ignore stretch. Just try not to use this stretch, never try it, never. So this is where we choose our sequence here. See the good side of having serial number at the start? So tada, we can just choose our sequence from here. So there you see the number. Let's put the steps into BPM sync and voila, started happening. Let's reduce the speed maybe. Oh, that looks good. So let's change our second settings into the second one. This is gonna be a little faster because as you remember, we had eight steps. So let's just change this number to eight. So we have a proper chase. So we can always tap the tempo and go always tick, 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 tick. tick. Tick, tick, tass, tick, 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 tass. That's okay. You can change the speed of the sequence on the BPM here. You can go faster like this or maybe slower. In our case, let's just put it in a nice spot. So here is a sustain fader that work as a fade in controller where zero is not usable. Let's put it to one and have a cut fade in like that very choppy as you assume the next controller controls its release that controls fade out so i want it to fade out very slow like this or maybe very fast chop 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 and then there is echo that duplicates all the step like a ninja if you want to get even crazier with chaser let me know in the comment below see you next time